Hi folks, uh, welcome to another edition of GiantVeggies.com. Uh, today is part two of growing uh, giant watermelon, part two. I highly recommend you go back and look at part one. If not, that's fine. Part two is fine. Uh, this is July the 10th. Uh, the watermelons that I'm uh, growing now are seven days old. If you see part one, you'd see the difference between the growth in seven days on a, uh, a cross, Atlantic cross watermelon, the giant watermelons. And we'll continue to video every Sunday uh, showing the continual growth, but uh, you know this plant is in early stages. I wanted to talk about uh, salvaging the plant uh, If you can scroll over to the pumpkin plant over here, you can see that the vine borers have gotten to them and I'm trying to salvage them. What I'm uh, Not trying to do is get the vine borers over to the watermelon plant So to protect this particular plant, what I've done is go at the base of the stem of the plant right here, and I have wrapped the stem in foil. Uh, that keeps the vine, the vine borer or the moth, uh, commonly known garden moth, from, uh, they lay their eggs real close to the base and then they hatch and they go into the base of the stem and bore. If you wrap your stem in, in foil, they cannot, they won't bore through the stem and that's typically where they want to bore uh, without putting out a whole lot of pesticides, obviously. Anyway, um, that will protect your plant. Uh, this one over here, we have named Walrus William, um, seven days old. I'm not real happy with the way it's growing. As you can see, it's, it's gotten fat in seven days. And it's got good girth to it, but as you can see, it's it's got a little bottleneck thing going on here that I'm not real happy with. Uh, so I'm gonna keep my eye on this for the next seven days. Uh, if, it, if it triples in size in the next seven days, I'll keep it. It should weigh itself out only if it gets triple in size, I'll keep it. If not, I'm going to really cut it off and wait for another one to grow. Um, this one over here is looking a lot better. It's got good shape to it. Uh, this one we have named uh, Shamu Sanya. And uh, if you watch part one of this video, you'll see how much this has grown in uh, seven days from from birth actually it's uh it's got good girth on it i like the way it's growing uh also uh, a good thing to do when you start getting uh melons on your plant is go to the the uh ends of the plant not the very tip like this you want to you want to cover it in some good dirt good compost like this at the end that will help root the the plant and if you do that and if it's rooted in different places throughout the plant you'll get a better uh, a better result on your melons um, again part two of growing giant watermelons in texas uh, we will uh, film again next sunday and see what they look like thanks uh, for tuning in